comment. Hmm. How do I comment? I don't know. Oh. Oh, well. Back it up. Hello, everybody. Hi. Everybody up to got some new packers. It's so quiet. Every time I do this, I expect them to hear voices, but I don't. Not your homework. I'm glad I'm done with school. packaging my stickers and I thought that while I do that I might as well go live. <coughs> You're falling. Falling? I'm falling and I can't get up. So first step that I do, thanks Jillian, glad that you're here. Um, I write out little note cards like thank you notes to everybody because I like adding that personal touch if they're ordering something from me I'm like so thankful and I like to write them a little note handwritten note to keep it everything authentic uh, stickers can go on vehicles I don't really recommend it because they're not like glossy they're matte which I really like the matte better but they're more for like indoor stuff. Like a lot of people have been putting them on their water bottles and on their laptops. I like completely covered my iPad case with them. But yeah, they are waterproof and weatherproof. But if you're going to put them on your vehicle because it'll be out in the sun so much, I would like spray it with something like a UV protectant. But yeah, so the first person I have... I'm just gonna read some comments too. Um, yes. I'm also going to be getting, we're doing koozies now. They're not up yet. I should be getting them next week, but I'm really excited um, to start selling those. I've always wanted to sell koozies. And now my dream's coming true. But yeah, I'm sitting on the floor right now, as you can see, with all my stuff. Because I don't have a real office yet, but hopefully I will soon. But yeah, first I go and I open up this and I put their note in. And then I see what they want. And I have my computer in front of me that tells me. So Carrie got one Advocate sticker. Oops, wrong one. I might have to print more. She got, I'm um, the Crazy Cat Lady sticker. Look at that. It's an ear tag. Um, one of my new stickers she got. It's called... This is for people that watch Mean Girls. They would know. I'm not gonna... There we go. It says, I am not a regular mom. I'm a cow mom. Haha, ha, funny. And then she's on um, Team Angus, so she got a Team Angus sticker. That reminds me, what team were you guys on? Team Angus is my favorite sticker. And it's our best seller. So, yeah. But yeah. My family is coming down to see me. We got like a house up north in North Georgia. And we're all staying there for um, Thanksgiving, and I'm really excited. And then for Christmas, we're going to Florida. Oh, that's really good to know. So Arizona Kid got a bunch of our stickers and we put them on the back of his ATV. 
And sounds like they're still doing good, so that's really good to know. How the heck would I do that, Jojo? Journal, Jojo. <sighs> You're literally messing up the live because it goes to my phone. Wow. That, the connection wasn't bad, Jojo kept calling me. That's why. Are you live? Yes, I'm live. Hi, everybody. No, they're laughing. Are you, how do you even watch at the same time? I gotta fix my posture. They're saying hi to you. Are you even on here still? Yeah, I'm on, you're on pause. I know, because I have to do packages. I'm doing homework right now, so I gotta go. What? So you disrupted my life, and I'm just gonna <laughs> leave. Yeah? I, I think I should go live. Well, you can literally go live anytime you want. You don't have to go live when I'm going live. <laughs> yeah, I do. Jesus. I can Oh, well, you can go live tonight then. Uh oh, they can hear me. Yeah, they can hear you. I'm glad this is here. Do they know that my birthday's in a month? I don't know. It's not like you talk about it every day. <laughs> I do. Okay, so my next person. Ugh, bye. Is... You're leaving? Yes, I have to do homework. All right, bye. Wait, tell them. Can they hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Tell them that I'm making a YouTube video today. Oh, I already made mine, so don't post tomorrow night. Can they hear that? Are they excited? Yeah, Jordan's making a YouTube today. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what? Ask me if they're excited. She wants to know if you're excited. You know, you could just go look. Where? They said yes. Yeah, yes, maybe. Ooh, we got a maybe. Hmm. Yikes. It's gonna be pretty good. What are you gonna do it on? I don't know yet. Oh. This one's messed. Garbage. Can you show them my face? No. Because? They said they're so excited, they just can't hide it. This is why I get distracted. Okay. So that was for Dylan. If you want some of these stickers, the link is in our Instagram bio. Cletus! You dumb I'm really just sorry. This is just a mess. That was not my fault, though. <sighs> okay. Yeah. I got this Ikea bag when we first moved here. We went to Ikea and bought like a bunch of stuff. And I had to get the Ikea famous bag. It's huge. That's how I get all the packages to the post office every week. And they always know when I'm coming in now. Because of my huge Ikea bag. I am doing live from my house in Georgia. Which hopefully soon will be my house in New York. Because we are trying to close on a house right now. Alright, so Clayton from, I think the OR is Oregon, Oregon, gotta say it right, he got two Team Angus, didn't even know if they had beef cows out there, I'm sure they had beef cows everywhere though, and then I seal it up, and I package it up. What do you guys think about this whole election thing? Kind of craziness. I don't really get political on here, but I like to hear people's opinions. It's Cletus from uh, 
Cletus McFarland. They're both idiots. Interesting. Interesting. Trump will be back. I think he has a really good chance of still winning. I got really annoyed this weekend when everybody was like celebrating that Biden won when he hasn't even technically won yet. I'm just like, wow, that's really gonna suck for you if Trump wins and you just have to like, be like, oh, JK. Okay, next is Amanda. If you order one right now, I'll package it for you on live. And I'll write your note right now. Trump won since when? Uh, Amanda got one Team Angus and one Team Holstein, which makes me confused. Is she on both teams? This is the Team Holstein. And I draw all these myself and I print them over there and I cut them over there. And it's just a good old time. I do like Georgia, I just, uh, um, I want to be near family, so I'm moving back. And I agree, that we should just expose everything that they're doing in the Democratic Party, and people will be like, whoa, why am I voting for this? Oh, yeah, there's just a lot of, a lot of sketchy stuff. But, you know, because the media says Trump's bad, he's definitely bad. How do you get the stickers? Um, if you have an Instagram, you can go to the link in our bio, or you can go on Etsy. It's just a platform for sellers, and you can look up New York Farm Reels, and we will come up. Yeah, I agree, Stanley. It's terrible what's happening. Very bad. Alright, my next person is Grace from Wisconsin. I got a lot of orders from Wisconsin. Hey Roger, nice to see you. I didn't see you in my last live. And thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Alright. So Grace got the advocate sticker, which is really cute and tiny if you have like a little spot, maybe even on your phone that you want to put it. Um, yeah, Orange Man Bad. That's literally, like, my generation just took that and went with it. They hate Trump and they don't even know why they hate Trump. Do a little research, people. It's not that hard to figure out who the good guys are. Dell? Yeah, I sold out of the bovine. I'm not going to make any more because, you know, Halloween's over, but that was one of my favorite ones. All you cow enthusiasts totally get my bovine jokes. <laughs> but yeah, I don't work on Monday and Fridays, so... I spend all that time on near farm girl stuff. Designing stickers, shipping stuff out. It's fun. Oh yeah, and when I get home, I'm doing full-time New York Farm Girls. Is that crazy? Yes, but I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna make this channel and our page even better. So you're gonna be seeing me a whole lot more. Okay. Yeah, Claudia's been all over the Midwest. Can't wait to see her. She's coming down to Georgia with the fam for Thanksgiving. Alright, Shannon from Canada. Yes, we do ship to Canada now. Uh, I got $15 shipping. That's the best I could do. So Shannon got Team Holstein. Classic one, and one of my next bestsellers, 
some of you can maybe relate to this. It says, you can't hurt my feelings, I farm with my dad. And I want to do another one that says, I farm with my family. Because some people like us don't have like dads that yell at us. Like our dad would never yell at us. Like he, I can't even remember. He always just makes us feel comfortable about everything. But some people were saying to me that their dad is like really harsh on them when they like mess up on the farm. So let's just joke around about it and make a sticker. And yeah, they're really cute. And I'm gonna give this the back edge. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I need to do a team short horn. <laughs> I've been kind of lagging on that because, I don't know, I feel like short horns are just weird. No offense. Milking short horn, like, uh, nobody really, you don't see them a lot. Maybe I just don't live in an area where there are a lot. I'm near Atlanta. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. This one's going out to Canada. Where in Canada? Dunville, Ontario, right? Wait, isn't that Ontario? No, that's in Canada, right? Yeah, my dad is such a sweetie. He would never try to hurt our feelings, especially when it comes to like, working on the farm, because he'd rather teach us than yell at us about something. You and your sisters are crazy. Yes, we are. Thank you for pointing that out. I feel like that's what gives our channel a lot of character. We're just be yourselves. But yeah, I thought Ontario was in Canada, but I didn't want to say something wrong. Ooh, yes. This is one of my new ones somebody ordered. Okay, okay, they were really hard to print out, so I'm trying to get a good one. Holy cow, ha ha ha, hilarious, cute, great laptop sticker. Um, she also got a manure happens, manure happens, got a good old cow patty right there. Um... Thanks for the skin comment. That's like really nice of you to say. Um, good job keeping the channel running with everyone all spread out. I know, right? Like we were really worried about that because we want to keep bringing content. Like it's really fun for us to provide you guys content. We're like, how are we going to do that with me living in a city, Claudia going to college, and Jojo, I don't know, she's still figuring things out. She's doing a great job, but when we all were spread out, like, JoJo was, like, really new at it, but I feel like we're getting some good content out there, but when I move back, I'm really excited to be on farm again, hopefully, and really get more farm content out. I will be putting up a video this week. I went to a dairy farm down here, and I did, like, a little tour of it. So I wanted to show you guys that. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm really happy to start do this full time because it's... I went to school for animal science and I'm really happy I did. I didn't go for like communications or anything. Although I did take a lot of communications classes. But I want to say for animal science so that I would know what I'm talking about. If I'm going to be an influencer online, I want to be able to talk about what I'm talking about. And know what I'm talking about and actually sound like I know what I'm talking about. Does that make sense? So a lot of people that do the path that I'm going down decide to go for communication. But I'm happy with the choices I made. Um... We used to sell a lot more stickers a day, but it really slowed down. I think it's because I've been posting it for a long time. I don't know. Or people just don't like my stickers anymore. But usually I'll sell maybe 20 a day. Sometimes. Yeah, I'll, I'll post this later. 
just a little chat. My next person is Alexa from Vermont. Yes, Vermont. And she also got the Holy Cow sticker. Put it in the package. Boom. And she also got a Team Holstein. I think that was the last order, too. I don't remember anymore. Yeah, I'm very grateful I get Goose! These cats are literally trying to ruin the life. <gasps> Alright. I don't know why they love tipping that over. Where did I just put that? Yes, so this is what it looks like when it's all packaged up. And then I put it in a padded envelope. And I'll send her out. I have two cats. And one dog. Goose and Cletus are my cats. And Remington is my dog. And yeah, those are all really redneck names now that I think about it. Yeah, there's a lot of effed up things going on with the election and it makes me really mad. So I try not to talk about it. <sighs> I drive a Chevy, uh, I drive a Ford, I don't know why I said that. And it has never failed me until like two months ago, something happened to the transmission. So, luckily I was still under warranty on everything, so I was free to get it fixed. Claudia's turning into a Ford girl. Whether you guys like it or not, that's what she wants for her next vehicle. Thanks, Tampa boys. Alright, so next is Lydia. I put her little hand note, handwritten note in. And then I look at what she wanted. She got the Mean Girls sticker. Doo -doo. And she got, I really like this one, Talk Cows to Me. This is a really cute order. And she got a Team Holstein. And then we put it in the package. Yeah, it's definitely not over Tim, I agree. Um, I thought it was laughable that CNN made everybody think that Biden was the winner, and everybody thinks that now, and they're out there celebrating in the streets, so that if or when Trump does win, it will literally create a lot of chaos, because people were so certain that he won because of the media. <laughs> They're always ruining things. Yeah. So I went to the gun store. The Literally within the hour that Biden, like all that stuff came out, that he was the winner. And you guys, I don't know if you watched our Instagram story, but you should have seen that gun store. It is one of the biggest gun stores, I think, in the country. But... I don't think it would be that busy normally. It was flooded with people. And I don't know if it's just a coincidence that he got elected and elected, I should say. Because the media doesn't elect our president. But um, it was full, jam-packed of people. And as we were standing in line, the ammo prices were tripling. So... Something was like 15 bucks, and he's like, you guys better go get it right now, because in 15 minutes, it's going to be $60. I was like, jeez, I don't know how all that works, but it was like really interesting to see. Yeah. Yeah, people are definitely stocking up. Everything was pretty much empty, but they had a pretty good selection of handguns there. But we couldn't get a handgun, even though we really wanted to, because we have a New York ID still. And thanks to Cuomo, you can't get a gun elsewhere with the ID. Hmm. Alright, so Emily got Calm Your Teats. That's just hilarious. Let's read some comments. Yeah, I agree. Republicans are very civilized because 
everything happening. Yeah, I didn't really see. Although we should be definitely using our voices to talking about how messed up everything is right now. Oh, we didn't need a gun. We have many with us right now. But we were definitely interested in looking in the handguns because down here they're a lot easier to get. Two Team Angus. Alright, all done with that. I'm not back in New York yet. Planning to move back this January. Don't you dare do it. Yeah, I would be absolutely terrified if, I don't even, I shouldn't even say it, but where I live was an area where a lot of the riots were happening, so I'm scared. <laughs> Especially if Trump wins, people are not going to be happy. Probably going to go hide in the mountains of North Georgia if he does. Or just never leave the house. This is what my Canada labels look like. They're a little more complicated because you have to write like how much is in the package and all that to get them across the border. Yep, yep, yep. Next we have Kylie. Kylie. She got some of my favorite stickers. Hello, everybody that just joined. Basically, I'm just packaging packages, talking. You guys are prompting me with the subjects here. If you have any questions, you can ask. And I will answer. I love my outfit. Gets it now, Stanley. But how do I know that's not a trap? Just kidding. Um, about that comment, Tom. I do, on my personal page, I talk a lot more about politics. I'm all about finding my own information and not believing Every single thing you find online, I look into everything, and I share a lot of stuff on my personal page about politics, but I try to keep New York Farm Girls not politics because, I don't know, I just don't want all that coming over here. This is just mostly farming and dairy and, you know, fun stuff, lighthearted stuff. But yes, I will be excited to continue using my vote in New York. Nice, Aiden. I'm glad that I can keep you company. All right, ooh, this person's Team Jersey. The Team Jersey I haven't showed yet. More of a girly one. All right, Christina. We don't get many men or, like ordering our stickers, but recently, more of you have. Especially these New York Farm Girls logo stickers. If you want to check out them out, uh, we're on Etsy under New York Farm Girls, or you can just check out the link in our Instagram bio. And there's also a link under a lot of our videos. My personal channel is my personal channel. I don't share it, but you can probably find it. Calm your teats and I don't have my own YouTube channel, but eventually I would love 
to make one of me and Dustin's life. Like, it's more like personal stuff. Like, we like to build a lot. We built a cabin together back in New York. And I've learned a lot about carpentry from him. So I think that'd be really fun. Especially like wherever we move. It'd be fun to show you guys the journey of that. And some people get salty when I put it on here for some reason. But it's the lifestyle channel, not strictly farming. This one is also going to Canada. I love my Canada people. I was so excited to finally be able to ship there. I don't like making it so you guys can't have stuff. Um, the only reason I'm like into politics is because my family has a small business and I like certain policies over others that affect small businesses. Like minimum wage stuff. We have a lot of teenagers that work for us, the pumpkin match, so that just doesn't work if we have to be paying our teenagers like $20 an hour if it ever gets to that point. Jason Aldean, he's all right. One's going to Pennsylvania. Gosh darn Pennsylvanians. What do you need help with in iMovie? I find that to be a really simple platform. But if you have any questions, let me know. Because I've been using it for a while. I used to be want, want to make movies when I was little, like professionally. That never happened. Now I'm a YouTuber and all that. That's really nice to know, Herman. Glad I made your day better. I read that right. My week last week was absolutely terrible. Um, on Tuesday, I had a panic attack at work. And that hasn't happened to me in four years. So, <laughs> that was terrible. And basically the whole week, I was just so tired out from being anxious constantly. But this week I bounced back and we're better and anxiety is normal. So if you have it, I have it too and we can bond over that. I don't really talk about it much, but I will be more because I like making people feel like they're not alone. Uh huh. Yup, yup, yup. Calm your teats, favorite. And a Team Swiss. So fun doing this with you guys. Thank you, Tom. There's no president in Holland. What is it? I feel like I'm really bad at like government stuff. And this one's going to Illinois. Ruth. What a cute name. Very old fashioned, like my name. Evelyn is old fashioned. Yes, you're right, Brian. It sucks. I never had it until I was in college, or in high school, like my senior year. And then I got it all of a sudden, I'm like, I felt like I was having a heart attack, and I'm like, what the? And I was like freaking out. But it was really a panic attack. So, good lab thing I got that figured out. This one's for Hannah in Iowa. She got a little Joe Duffy. I made this one. Billy Bob loves Charlene. Water Tower. A Team Swiss. And though you can't hurt my feelings, I farm with my dad.
Okay, my job in Georgia, I do New York Farm Girls part-time. I'm at my internship Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And my internship is at the Dairy Alliance, so I'm basically reaching out to consumers and teaching them how dairy farms work, why milk is important, all that stuff. So a lot of PR work. Um, I don't really love it. I thought I would love it and I thought it'd be my dream job, but I learned pretty quickly that I like working for myself and I don't like working in an office. So I'll be done there in December, like around Christmas time. And my other job was working on a farm here. I worked there throughout the summer. It was called Sleepy Hollow. And then I worked there during the fall because they're pumpkin farm and Christmas tree farm. So I was working there on the weekends. So I had like seven day work week and I was really stressed out, but pumpkin season is over. So I've got my weekends back and it's been great being able to just hang out with Dustin on the weekends. Oh yeah. Uh, we're also partnering with someone, a company called Fine Family Farms, and basically it's like a hub for all farms that sell produce. They can get their farm on there, and you guys ever heard of HelloFresh where they like ship you groceries? Well, this place does that too, but you can like order stuff from local family farms. So I'm going to be making probably like mac and cheese later this week or tonight. Where they sent me like a bunch of cheeses from a farm I think is in Kentucky. So I'm really excited for that because I love, love, love um, sharing things that can help people eat from farms, local farms. Like getting really hot. Thank you, Ken. I really appreciate that. This person got three Advocate stickers. I love these because they're like a little bit smaller. And... And I'm moving back because my internship will be over and I want to live closer to family. Be able to create content up there. Cute little jersey with a flower crown. And then... Why are you having a rough time today? Yeah, I didn't really like HelloFresh meals at all, to be honest, so I'm really excited. This stuff is like high quality from farms that you can connect with, and it's really cool. It's not just like they're sending you the cheapest produce. That you can find, like probably how fresh does. <gasps> Water. Your girlfriend cheated on you. Then you shouldn't even care. You should be totally over her, which is impossible, I'm sure. But that happened to me in college, and it took me a while to just be like, wow, I don't deserve this. But you should just be like, F that, and her loss, for sure. And I hate people that do that. Her loss, though. Go find somebody better. Because you will. And you don't deserve that. And it wasn't your fault. That was her choice. On your teats. Crazy calf lady. Holy cow. Team Angus. know that there's farms in New York because a lot of people don't know that they hear in New York and they think New York City 
but we used to be number three for dairy producing. That is no longer a thing as of recently. But we have a lot of farms up there. When I find it crazy, Google don't know that. I don't know. Mullets, I guess, they look good on some people. They're just kind of like a trend. Basic now. True, Stanley, you can just move on now. You know that she's a crappy person. Don't have to waste your time putting any more effort into that. It just sucks. This one's for Emily. She got a uh, calm your teats. Holy cow. Jersey with a flower crown. Thanks, Ken. You're the best. Um, we are located up in upstate New York. More people call it like central New York. And we are like 20 minutes from Syracuse, like near Skinny Atlas, if you know what that is. It's so funny when people get Jersey stuff and Holstein stuff. I feel like a lot of farms have both. Wouldn't it be great if we could just chop New York City off in of New York? I would be happy about that. Yeah, so I'm having a great day. I woke up and I made Dustin some lunchy lunch for work. And then I made homemade croutons because I had all this stale bread. I'm like, might as well put that to you. So I made some croutons. Probably gonna make a salad later. I did all the laundry, did all the dishes. I love Mondays. Just get so much done. And then I have a couple logos that farms want me to make them later today. I'm really excited about those. There are two, they seem like they're female run farms, which is cool. And so I'm going to be making theirs. If you want a handmade logo, you can reach out to me on our Instagram or Facebook. And then I'm going to do that mac and cheese video. So today is going to be great. We do not ship our merch to Europe yet. I'm going to try to get that going, though, because I know there's about a bunch of people out there, obviously. We don't deliver to England, either. I should figure out, like, where I should start looking into. This Abigail from South Dakota. I never get orders from South Dakota. She just got one team, I guess. Cute, cute, cute. We do not ship to the UK. I don't even know what shipping will look like for that. Could not be cheap, I know that. Maybe it would be. Print it all. Okay, so we're like really in the process, like deep in the process of getting that house. Um, we're, we're still waiting to hear back from the bank. Everything should be good. But yeah, we're still like in the process of all the paperwork. And it's really stressful and I hope that we get it. There, there really shouldn't be a reason why we won't get it. But you know, there's always that chance that we couldn't for some reason. But we'll see. I'm really hoping we get it. I 
be so sad if we didn't get that house. I don't even know what I would do. But I guess if we don't, then there's a reason why. Thank you. Alrighty, we're ripping through these. This is all the people we have left. If you want me to package your order, let me know if, when you order it and I will do yours right away on the live so we can talk. They're only like 350. Most of them are. Another one going to Canada. This one is going to Linwood, Ontario. My next person is Noelle. She's got one team Angus, one of my best sellers. My guess, Earl, would be so that they can breed their heifers to a jersey if they have an easy, their first time, first calf heifers. So they have an easier time pushing out their baby, but if you have another reason, that's why my grandpa's farm did it. All right, Noelle the Scott, right, right, one team Angus. Also, when we get to New York, my first purchase to help build my credit it's going to be a razor, and I'm really excited. Yeah, that's why I love jerseys. They're just so efficient. Oh. Yeah, all, it also is to bring out butter fat, but my grandpa always did it for the first calf hoppers. But he had a bull. He had a bull. Jersey bull. The reason why we have so many jerseys on our farm is because I don't like my aunt get rid of any of them. But I don't really work there anymore. But I still started the trend of not getting rid of the jerseys, even the bulls. So all of the jerseys are raised on our dairy farm because I was obsessed. My favorite breed. But do you know what I mean when I say that why they would have, they would breed them in the jerseys? Because they're so tiny. Giving that mom a way easier time than a big old Holstein bull calf. And also the same with Angus, little tiny Angus. Dustin works in HVAC. That's what he's doing right now. He's really good at it. I actually dressed up as him for Halloween. I was an HVAC guy. Right, Zen? Just so weird. It's almost like it was... Eh. <sighs> Trying not to get political, but it's really hard. Oops, I'm getting distracted. Oh. 
Yeah, and I bet Rona's gonna disappear, too, if Biden wins. There's a reason Biden likes China so much. Already patched it. My next person is for Kenzie in Indiana. Team Jersey. Battery in the birds. I'm so excited to go home. I can't wait. But yeah, why don't you guys uh, tell me something so I can talk about. It's actually really nice having people to talk to right now. Normally I would just like have music on and talk to myself. <laughs> yeah, I had like 40 orders because it built up from the past week. Because if y'all know, I was not having it this week, so I didn't do any. I ship them out within three to five business days always though. Nobody from New Hampshire. I don't think I've ever had somebody order from New Hampshire. Calm your teats. I am 21, turning 22 in March. Cool. When are you going home? Hopefully the beginning of January. I have no idea, Mike. Oh, Stanley, if you have to go, when you look up near Farm Girls, click on the shop, like the, our store name. It should be, if you keep scrolling, you can find our store name. But I know what you mean, like only certain stickers will come up, but you have to go look up our store. They make great Christmas presents, and they're cheap. Yeah, I love shipping these out. I just love knowing that all of these awesome people are supporting my art. Abigail, she went nuts on this. I'm so happy. South Dakota people are really popping off. She got three crazy calf ladies. Mm hmm. Gotta milk your chicken, huh? Three long live farmers and ranchers. It's got like a nice cowboy hat. My favorite song, I don't really have one right now. My favorite artist is probably Dylan Carmichael. Was college worth it? Yes, I learned a lot. I went to a school like, where it wasn't even that much money either. Cause it was like a state school. I don't get wrapped up in all that you need to go so like a good school, like what even is a good school? <sighs> yeah, we're not spending our Christmas at home, we're going to Florida. Cause why wouldn't we wanna go to Florida? Warm, fishing, beaches, get 
out of here. My aunt and uncle have a house down there. It's really pretty. I'm doing a lot better, Brian. Thanks for asking. This is thick. She got some good stickers. I use Pirate Ship. It helps me get some of the better prices. It's working a lot better because I figured out how to load it from the back. And now it finally works. Oh my god, my first mail, Joe from Massachusetts. He got three Team Holsteins and three Team Swiss. I always like think, what is Joe's life like? Does he have a herd of Holstein and Swiss, or does he have like a girlfriend that likes Swiss and he likes Holstein? Or... Either way, hope he's doing great. I don't even know who he is, but he's awesome because he wears stickers. One of Joe's like watching right now, like this lady is nuts. I'm gonna cancel my order. Joe. Joe. These are being shipped out today, people. If you want them, place your order now. Will the podcast return? I don't know. It was just hard to, like, obviously do it when we were f apart. So maybe when we're together again. But then, it was just hard to get views. I didn't even know who was listening, but... Once you stop, then people are like, oh my god, we loved it. So, I don't know. Maybe we will. It was fun to just talk. This one's for Brooklyn in Indiana. Ooh, nobody's gotten this one. It says, an industry that feeds you is an industry worth fighting for. Facts. Oh wait, I wrote that. <laughs> No, we go through Pirate Ship, and apparently Pirate Ship goes through all the platforms and gives you the cheapest option. I was surprised not many people are on Team Herford. I made a lot of them and then, because people said they were on Team Hartford, but I guess they're not. Whoa, it's already been an hour of me doing this. When did you start YouTube? We started it like a while ago, but then we stopped because we were like, this is stupid. And then when Millennial Farm came out, we're like, oh wait, this is kind of cool. So we started again, which was like 
last January or March? I forgot. Ah, oh, Cletus. Oh, okay. Yep. We're not still doing the podcast right now. I am not that. I would probably pass out because I hate blood. And I hate needles. I am okay with giving needles to calves and cows, but that's about it. Ooh, needle and human skin. Something about it is just way different and disgusting and makes me pass out. I can barely watch a DA on a farm happen. It's not even like it's gross, it's just like something in my mind makes me think I should pass out when I see blood. Oh baby, this is a big, big, big order. Probably my biggest order yet. Actually, one time somebody ordered 25 Team Guernsey stickers. I was like, damn, you are hardcore Team Guernsey. Anyways, this person is, her name is Angela and she's from New York. Whoop, whoop. Dr. Pepper is my boyfriend's favorite drink. All right, so she got two crazy calf lady. No podcast because why I just explained. Come on, you're kidding me. She got three drink more milk stickers and I only, or she got four and I only have three left. So I need to print more. Dang it. I will have to do her order last. So I'll move on to Christina. I'm almost done with these. She got two advocate stickers. One, two. Two Hereford stickers. And one, you can't hurt my feelings. I have fun with my dad. Pack her up. Can you tell me exactly what I have to type in to get to your store? Do you have Instagram? Because it would be a lot easier. And I don't know how to comment on my own video. Can I comment on my own video? Like I'm trying to, but I can't. The stickers vary, but all the sizes are listed on the site. They're only like this big. Um, you have to type in New York Farm Girls with a capital N, most likely. I really wish I could just leave the link in the comments. That's what I want to do, but I can't. How the heck do I know it? Hmm. <sighs> I don't know, guys, I don't know. I don't think I can. It's not giving me any option to, so. Yeah, once I finish these orders, I will be done with the live. So I only have a little more time with you because I have like five left. Because then I gotta get to the rest of my day. I'm so happy I got to talk to you guys though. Yeah, can like somebody go copy the link and put it in there? <sighs> Two holy cow.
Chanel stickers. Almost forgot. This one's for Austin in Oregon. Two holy cow stickers and two team Wilson. what I want to add to the farm. God, we have like every animal. I think I would try to add a Guernsey because they're really pretty. My goal one day is to have every dairy breed in my backyard. Just as like pets. Not even for milking. Just to have. time where I am right now is 11.43. Today is flying. Thanks for stopping by everybody. Truly appreciated. I really don't believe that, Kurt. Now, a new order. I don't know their name, but I will. Is it somebody in this chat? Because that would be cool. This one's for Andy. He is a Hereford lover because he got three, three Hereford stickers for Andy. Oops, I accidentally put four in there. Go home. I am home. Yeah, we have a two mangas. So that's my best seller. About to sell out. And this is what they look like. I drew it myself. On my iPad. The one that broke. And you guys actually helped me fix it. With your super chats. I was very appreciated. when you see him on your front door or your mailbox oh, my my UPS guy just chucks it at my door definitely a two seat now I'm gonna package Casey from Indiana homemade newt and she got an advocate sticker and I'm not a regular mom, I'm a cow mom sticker. Did you guys go out for Halloween? If you did, what were you? Yeah, I love those videos too. They were fun to watch. And I heard that Cole talked about Claudia in his last video. How she like missed a part of the field or something. Am I right?
we got Allison. She just got one Team Swiss from Massachusetts. Yeah, we actually did have a sticker giveaway on my Instagram last week. So you missed out on that one. I sent this girl that won like 20 different stickers for free. Well, that's nice, Stanley. should do Highland Cows for my next sticker. Just kidding, I don't get hated on because people want whatever those C-H-R-L-O-I-S cows. I don't even want to butcher the name. <gasps> no, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bless my soul. Only got like three packages left. Next is a Bailey. Yeah, I don't really have any fun updates in my life. I wish I did. Uh, they're still brown Swiss. It's like a really popular read. Uh, Claudia's boyfriend, his name is Aiden. He's the guy that like, she did that drag lining video with in the last one, whatever she did in Colorado. He's very nice. And he's from near our hometown. We're doing long distance. This is really cool. My first order is going to Arizona. I'm so excited. Yeah, and Aiden is coming to Thanksgiving this year, so like, that's like a big deal. My mom invited, like, Jojo's boyfriend and Claudia's boyfriend. And mine, of course. My favorite breed of cow is a jersey. Jesse just got one Team Hereford. Where's your favorite fast food place, guys? I don't eat fast food that much, but I always find it interesting and it like tells a lot about a person where their favorite fast food place is. Also, I just started drinking coffee, but not this week because it makes my anxiety even worse. But I started like a couple weeks ago and it's been really fun like trying all the different coffees. Chick-fil-A has like the best iced coffee I've ever had. It was so good. I said this on my Instagram story last week. People that drink black coffee, they always have to tell you that they drink black coffee. It's just like a vegan. No offense, I just think it's hilarious. Calm your teeth. I am not moving back to New York yet. Wendy's and Burger King. Wendy's is good. Jimmy John's, I've never been. Like, what do they even have? Like, subs? Wendy's is a good one. I don't really like McDonald's that much. It's good if I'm, like, going out and, like, I just want something fa fast and, like, you know, like, every time it's going to be the same. I guess every fast food place is like that, but <laughs> Chick-fil-A. I was not blessed with Chick-fil-A until I moved down here. 
whoops, now I am. And it's amazing. It is amazing. Culver's, I had that for the first time the other day. I got their, what is it, like concrete something? And it was delish. And I got their cheese curds, fried cheese curds. Zaxby's I had too. I've been trying like all the different fast food places because a lot of them down here are just so much better than New York. In New York it's like Taco Bell or McDonald's and Burger King. I like Burger King's fries like the best. cooking too but if I'm like just out and about and I just want something fast fast food is the way I'm not gonna go cook up some spaghetti dinner but all the time Dairy Queen mm -hmm. love it obviously I did the word dairy in the beginning I love it I know right now I'm hungry too it is almost lunchtime I guess it technically is alrighty no, I was just going to refresh it because I think that was my last one, but I'm pretty sure somebody just ordered. So I'm going to refresh it. But it's not coming up. So yeah, do you guys have any last minute questions before I head out? And I'm probably going to go eat a Caesar salad because I'm really craving that. Any last minute questions? They ordered so that you're on live. I know, I, I just don't see their order for some reason. Came with my phone. But, not in here. Um. The Fabia side. Of Morgan Hill. Yes, I draw my stickers. On the iPad. They're drawn by yours truly. Okay. Yep. My favorite soda is Diet Coke. I used to drink it every day for breakfast and lunch. And I know that's a really bad habit, so I stopped and I started drinking coffee. I don't know if that's any better, but I feel like it is. But, yeah. Oh. That was a really interesting noise. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go. I will be doing all the teams, like Team Shorthorn, Team Everything. Gotta please everybody. I know diet's not good for you, but whatever, it was good. My favorite ice cream is. Oh, I just tried the Tillamook Monster Mash, and that's my new favorite. But yeah. Hi, Dustin. That really scared me. I was like, that person looks familiar. And, okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go have lunch. And Dustin, if you're around, you should come join me for lunch. Bye!